about the factors of the sum or difference of two cubes. So, fast equal lang tayo. Alright? So, whenever we multiply this one, we have a binomial factor and a trinomial factor na na-obtain by squaring the first term. Tapos, product of the two terms with the opposite sign, kaya minus x, y. And then, we have plus the square of the last term. Okay? So, multiply this binomial factor and this binomial factor.
Ya, yeah. 10 plus. Next. Ang gagawin na lang natin last para makompleto na yung factor form niya is to get its trinomial factor. Kasi again, the factors of the difference or the sum or difference of two cubes ay of the form uh, x plus or minus y times the quantity x squared negative positive x squared plus y squared. Alright, so ganito lang. Step by step process kung paano kinukuha yung trinomial factor. You follow. Alright. Get the square of the first term. So what is the square of x squared? Ah, x. So you have x squared. Next. Since this is positive, so you are going to get its opposite sign for the middle term of this trinomial factor. So you will write minus. Next, get the product of these two terms. So 2 times 2x, that gives you 2x. And lastly, for the last term of the trinomial factor, simply get the square of 2. And what's the square of 2? We have 4. And there you go. That's your factor 4. Okay, so you have x plus 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 4. Okay, so let's work on example number 2. Alright, so you have factor 3b cubed minus 192c cubed completely. Alright, so let's check first if it is... Um, may, may minus sign tayo dito. So, let us check if this is a DTC. Alright? First, binomial. Check. Okay? Next, may minus sign with DTC. Alright? So, let us check kung perfect cube ba yung dalawang terms. B cube and C cube are both perfect squares because, uh, because of their uh, exponents. Alright? But, as for 3 and 192, we know that they are not perfect cubes. However, here's the catch. Okay? Don't forget, whenever you factor out any polynomial, di ba, the starting point is always to see or to check if it has um, any common monomial factor. And as for this case, meron. Okay? So, meron tayo numerical na common monomial factor dito. We have 3 and 192. And obviously, that greatest common monomial factor is uh, no other than 3. Alright? So, i-simplify lang natin to. We can rewrite this one. So, yeah. Alright, so you have 3b cubed minus 192c cubed. This is equal to getting the greatest common monomial factor, which is 3, ayan. Pagkatapos natin ako, ayan, divide lang natin yan on both dito sa dalawang terms, tama? Alright, so you have, ayan, 3, ah, 3b cubed divided by 3, so number lang, 3 divided by 3 is 1, so therefore, the quotient of 3b cubed and 3 is simply equal to b cubed. Next. You have minus 192, alright, divided by 3 is equal to 64. And then you just have to copy C cube. Yan. So, pag nilabas na natin yung greatest monomial factor, kung mapapansin natin, itong, uh, itong binomial na factor, okay, niya, nito, ay isa ng DTC. And since difference of two cubes na siya, pwede na tayo mag-proceed sa unang step kung paano nag-factor out ng isang uh, DTC. So first, get the cubes, uh, the, get the cube roots of each of the uh, given na uh, cubes. Alright, so you have the cube root of B cube and the cube root of negative 64 C cube. Yes, meron tayong cube root para sa isang negative na number. Okay, one concrete example, you have negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Times negative 1, the product is negative 1. So therefore, the cube root of negative 1 is negative 1. Kaya meron tayong cube root ng isang num negative na number. Alright, so yan. Uh, gawin na natin, simplify natin. So the cube root of B cube is simply B. And the cube root of negative 64 is negative 4. Alright, and the cube root of C cube is C. Ayan, so meron na tayong cube roots. Pwede na natin i-express to as the product of this form. Okay, so this is equal to Okay, so this is equal to you have the greatest common monomial factors. You have 3 times B. Kita nyo, minus 4, uh, negative 4C. So, ibig sabihin, kaya na yan. So, you have minus Kasi kung i-check ninyo, yung given na uh, operation dito sa DTC natin, original DTC natin ay minus. Kaya minus din siya. And, now let's get the trinomial factor. So again, get the square of the first term dito. So what is the square of B? We have B squared. Opposite sign, so that is plus. 
get the product of these two terms. So, uh, B times 4C, this is equal to 4BC. And lastly, get the square of the last term, so that is 16, 16C squared. And that's it. So, therefore, the factor form of 3B cubed minus 192C cubed is equal to 3 times B minus 4C times B squared plus 4BC plus 16C squared. And you're done. Okay, so we're done with our last example, example number three. So you have factor Q cube over A minus 27 over P cube. So, syempre, meron din tayong perfect cubes na in fraction form. And so, ang tanong ngayon, paano ba natin nalalaman kung ang given na fraction ay perfect cube or hindi? Napakadali lang, mga masters. All you have to do is just to check if the numerator, if both the numerator and the denominator of that fraction ay perfect cubes. Okay, so you have Q cube. Because of the exponent 3, we know that this variable is a perfect, I mean this term is a perfect uh, cube. And then you have A, perfect cube ratio. So therefore, this whole thing, okay, itong whole fraction na to ay isang perfect na cube. Then you have 27 over P cube. 27 is a perfect cube. So okay na rin yan. Then you have P cube. Perfect cube din siya. Ayan. So, binomial, then you have a minus sign, therefore, this is a uh, B, P, C. Okay, now let's get the cube root of each cubes. We have the cube root of Q cube over A and the cube root of negative 27 over P cube. Now, how do you get the cube root or how do you extract the square root of a fraction? Simply extract the square root of both the numerator and the denominator. Ganun lang kadali. Okay, so anong cube root ng Q? Q. You have Q over, what is the cube root of A? It is equal to 2. Alright, so ibig sabihin Q over 2 ang cube root ng Q cube over A. Next, you have the cube root of negative 27 over P cube. So that is negative to, so you have negative. Anong cube root ng 27? 3. Negative 3 over, and the cube root of P cube is P. And there you go, we have our cube roots. Now, we can express this one as a product of the form. Ito. So, you have Q cube over 8 minus 27 over P cube is simply equal to the product of, ayan, ito, Q over 2. Minus, negative na yan, negative din dito, kaya minus na rin siya, 3 over P. Ayan, so yan yung binomial factor ninyo. Dito ko sa baba, isusulat yung binomial factor niya, okay? So yan, times, paano naman kinukuha yung square na isang fraction? Get the square of both the numerator and the denominator. So what is the square of Q? You have Q square over, what's the square of 2? It is equal to? Four. Next, opposite sign. So, you have plus. Multiply the two terms. So, diretso multiplication lang tayo. Numerator sa numerator, denominator sa denominator. So, you have Q times 3. So, that is 3Q. Over 2 times P. So, that is 2P. Plus, get the square of 3 over P. So, that is equal to 9 over P squared. And that's it. That's your factor 4. So that's it mga Maxers, uh, sana nakatulong tong video para mas naintindihan nyo kung paano tayo nagpa-factor ng sum or difference of two cubes. Okay, ulitin ko lang, first get the cube roots of each of the given cubes, and then kung ano man yung sign ng cube, uh, given na DDC or SDC, yun din yung magiging sign ng binomial factor niya. At para makuha mo yung binomial factor niya, simply get the square of the first term of the binomial factor, 